Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about utility maximization by using a leg range function. What do you mean by leg range function? Leg range function combined utility function and budget constraint by using leg range multiplier in order to find out optimum combination that consumer can buy with his given income and prices of goods. Please listen carefully. Leg range function combined utility function and budget constraint by using leg range multiplier in order to find out optimum combination that consumer can buy with his given income and prices of goods. And we can write uh, leg range function like this. This part represent a utility function. U represent a utility. X and Y represent quantities of X and Y goods. And lambda represent leg range multiplier. And leg range multiplier is a variable that help to find optimum solution. This part represent budget constraint. Budget constraint shows limitation on goods and services which consumer can buy with this given income and prices of goods and this is formula budget constraint px into x plus py into y equal to m px is prices of x goods x is quantities of x goods py is prices of y goods and y is quantities of y goods m is income of consumer if we bring px and py in this side then our equation will become like this we put budget constraint equal to zero because it represent condition that must be satisfied same equation we will bring here so we can say that uh, uh, leg range function is combination of a utility function and budget constraint by using uh, leg range multiplier this part represent um, utility function this part represent uh, budget constraint and this represent leg range multiplier because leg range function combined utility function with the budget constraint by using leg range multiplier in order to find optimum combination that consumer should buy with this given income and prices of goods now we will see one example this is our given uh, utility function x to the power 3 upon 4 into y to the power 3 upon 4. px means price of x is 6, py price of y is 3, m means income of consumer is 120. And we have to find out optimum quantities of x and y goods which consumer can buy with this given income and prices of goods by using a leg range function. So this is our given utility function. And this is formula budget constraint Px equal to 6. You can see Px equal to 6. That means price of x good is 6. x will remain as it is because quantities of x and y are not given. Obviously, we have to find out optimum quantities of x and y. How can they give it? So, x will remain as it is. Similar Py equal to 3 and uh, y will remain as it is income of consumer is uh, 120 and we have to set uh, budget constraint equal to zero that's why six uh, x and three y will bring in this side our equation will become like uh, this and this is our leg range of function we will replace this side with this because this is our given uh, utility function and we will replace this side with this because this is our budget constraint. Now we will solve this equation. Now we solve this problem. In order to solve this problem, we will do partial derivation with respect to x, y and lambda. In order to solve this problem, we will do partial derivation with respect to x, y and lambda. First of all, we will do partial derivation with respect to x. As we know, when we do derivation, this power will come in front of variable and we will minus 1 from power. So, this power will come in front of variable and we will minus 1 from power. When we minus 1 from this power, it will become equal to minus 1 over 4. So, simply you can write minus 1 over 4. 
we are doing a partial derivation with respect to x only that's why y will come as it is so here you can see we are doing a derivation with respect to x only there is no x in 120 and there is no x in 3y that's why these variable will become nil and derivation of 6x is equal to 6 and 6 multiply with the lambda become equal to minus become equal to minus 6 uh, lambda and this is our uh, first equation and we put this equation equal to uh, 0. Now we will do partial derivation with respect to y. When we do partial derivation with respect to y, then this power will bring in front of variable and we will minus 1 from power. So, this power bring in front of variable and we minus 1 from power, it will become equal to minus 1 over 4. X will remain as it is because we are doing partial derivation with respect to y only. There is uh, no y in 120, there is no y in 6x. So, uh, this uh, variable will become nil and derivation of 3y is equal to 3 and uh, 3 multiply with the lambda become equal to minus 3 lambda. We will set this equation equal to 0 and this is our second equation. Now, we will do derivation with respect to lambda. And we multiply lambda with 126x and 3y and our equation will become like this. We will do derivation with respect to lambda. There is no lambda in this part. So, this part will become equal to 0. But there is lambda, there is lambda, there is lambda. When we do uh, derivation with respect to lambda, then lambda will cancel out or we can say that lambda will remove and our equation will become like this 120 minus 6x minus 3y and we will set this equation equal to 0 and this is our third uh, equation. Here you can see we have done deri partial derivation with respect to x, with respect to y and with respect to lambda. So, this is our first equation, this is our second equation. If we bring 6 lambda and 3 lambda in this side, then our first equation will become like this and second equation will, will become like this. Now, we divide first equation with the second equation. When we divide, this part will become equal to 2. So, now we will divide first equation with the second equator, equation which is equal to 2. This will cancel with each other. Now we divide x to the power minus 1 over 4 with x to the power uh, 3 over uh, 4. This power will come below. It will become equal to like this and when we solve this, it will become equal to x. So, similar we will divide y to the power 3 over uh, 4 by y to the power minus 1 over 4. When we divide y to the power 3 over 4 with y to the power minus 1 over 4, this will come above. So, it will become equal to like this. And when we solve, our answer will become equal to y. So, when we write this, after dividing, when we write this, it will become equal to like this. Or you can say that y is equal to 2x. So, when we solve this, it will become equal to y equal to 2x. So, y is equal to 2x. Now, we will put a value of y in our budget constraint. As we earlier discussed, this is equation of our budget constraint. In this equation, we will put a value of a y. So, when we put y equal to 2x, uh, 6x, 6x become equal to 12x, 12x equal to 120, so x is equal to 10. Value of x is 10 and we will put the value of x in this equation. Then we calculate it will become equal to 20, so y is equal to 20. Optimum quantities of x is 10 and optimum quantities of y is uh, 20. That means in order to receive a maximum satisfaction with this given income and prices of goods, a consumer should buy optimum quantities of X is 10 and optimum quantities of Y is 20. So, this is all about utility maximization by using Lagrange function. I think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. Take care.